An educational revolution is on the horizon. Artificial intelligence is becoming quicker and more precise, opening up completely new ways to engage with material. Every day, we witness the power of AI being leveraged to offer billions of advertising. Let's look at how we might employ comparable technologies to bring education into the internet era and push the envelope of what's possible. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will talk to you about what is likely to be the very near-term future of education and the role artificial intelligence is playing in it. It's difficult to comprehend how much knowledge the world today has at its disposal. Every day, YouTube receives about 80 years of video uploads. Every second, hundreds of video are posted to TikTok. Google crawls and indexes around 50 billion web pages. How do we locate anything at all in the midst of this deluge of information? Yes, we can use something like to a lookup table to find specific material based on a link or ID. But what if our question is more vague, such as locating relevant material for a user? How can we select the best options from a sea of billions of options? When we say, relevant, we're usually talking to a difficult to quantify feature. What elements of a website influence a user's decision to click on a search result? What factors influence the likelihood of a photo being shared? How is content suggested? Take, for example, YouTube's platform, which nearly entirely distributes videos via a recommendation algorithm. Each movie includes a list of videos that the site recommends you view next. As a result, the site must internally answer the following question. Given what we know about this user, which of our 10 plus billion videos should we show to keep the user on the site for the greatest length of time right now? Take a moment to admire this Herculean feat. How would you even begin to respond to that? As difficult as it may be, YouTube and its counterparts are astonishingly excellent at this. Amazingly good, could be an understatement. Every month, YouTube feeds hundreds of millions of unique visitors and more than 1 billion hours of content. The phrase, YouTube rabbit hole, refers to how successfully they can deliver you videos that pique your interest in an entirely different subject for hours at a time. With only a handful hundred ideas, they are continuously able to lure you into another video after you've seen one. Sitting down to kill time turns into three hours of viewing movies of extrusion machines. What's the secret sauce that allows them to achieve this? It's artificial intelligence, as you may know. Google, which owns YouTube, explicitly records hundreds of data points across practically every element of your internet history. Do you have an Android phone? It's highly possible that it knows where you've gone since you initially opened your account. Do you use Google? Knows about every search you've done. Do you use Chrome? Your internet surfing history. Of course, they are aware of every video you've ever seen, the material you've most interacted with, who you've subscribed to, and your most recent clicks. All in the name of getting to know, you, and forecasting your behavior. In this situation, it implies knowing exactly what, you, are going to see next. If the majority of people with a similar watch history viewed this video of a person making a whole underground swimming pool out of a few of sticks, you probably will as well. Let me know in the comments if you believe the guy could actually achieve it with just a spade. While the data gathering tactics are problematic, let us take a break from the privacy issue for the time being, we will return to it later. Modern social media firms have multi-billion dollar cutting edge systems that track you everywhere learn everything about you, and build models of your behavior. What is it all for? To sell advertisements? Is this the best application of this technology? No way, no how. It is only the first sort of product to enter the market for AI-driven content distribution. I have mentioned the issue that YouTube has fixed with their algorithm. Let's see if we can change our prior query and make this system more constructive. Given what we know about this student, what information from the complete amount of human knowledge should we educate them in order to give them with the optimal long-term educational outcome? An interactive educational system has been coined for such a system, which we may develop today. Reed is a firm that focuses on implementing artificial intelligence in education and developing interactive educational systems. They've had a lot of success. In 2016, they released Santa, an app aimed at Korean students preparing for the TOEIC exam a huge standardized English test comparable to the American SAT. Unlike traditional study apps, theirs is fully AI-driven, selecting each question individually to maximize benefit for each student. It asks a more specific inquiry, 
Drawing on its bank of tens of thousands of questions and hundreds of lectures, what question or lesson can I give this student right now to generate the greatest long-term rise in their TOEIC exam score? How effective have they been? Almost immediately after their introduction, they became one of Korea's most popular educational applications. They have millions of users and hundreds of millions of logged user interactions. Is it genuinely beneficial, or is it simply a fad? In 20 hours and for less than $30, they may boost student scores by 165 points, out of 990, more than a full standard deviation. This is more than 10 times less expensive than private tuition services while producing superior outcomes. It's worth noting that none of this occurs in the absence of external data. They are not the same as Google or Facebook. They do not have access to the terabytes of data per user that these sites have. Here are some intriguing things I discovered when reading through their white papers. They don't only pick the greatest question at every instant. They also utilize a dropout prediction algorithm to forecast when students will leave their session and seek to get the best overall result over users' lifetime usage. Using hundreds of data points, right answers, lesson history, but also average time to answer and how frequently you modified your response. To mention a few, they can predict with more than 82% accuracy whether a specific student would get a given question correct. This is terrifyingly excellent. Questions are not organized into themes or categories. Instead, they are presented one after the other in a format akin to TikTok, with the algorithm determining which question you will learn the most from at any given time. The user's anticipated score and the algorithm's comprehension of the user are updated after each answer. As they practice, students are given an estimated TOEIC score to reflect where the software expects they will score on test day. This is 95% correct to within a few percentage points. Education is a crucial technology for a civilization. How do we pass on crucial knowledge, skills, habits, and ideas from generation to generation? How can we prepare our children for a world that is always changing? Modern education systems are far superior than nothing, but as everyone who has ever attended a school will attest, they have more than their fair share of flaws. If you want to be a medical doctor in the United States, you should plan on being 32 years old when you complete your study. Furthermore, industrialized nations are constantly harmed by a lack of instructors and underfunded systems, which results in less time per student and poorer performance. Developing countries do considerably worse, as they frequently suffer from substantial brain drain and a lack of institutions. With almost half of occupations on the chopping block for automation and the professions designed to replace them being more technical, specialized, and needing more years of study than ever before, education technology is being pushed to its limit. The awful history of job retraining initiatives, especially in the United States, demonstrates that we cannot rely on our current approaches. I indicated at the outset that the technology required to construct this existed today, and I meant it literally. YouTube has become a repository of instructional information on the Internet. They are optimized to become an interactive educational system by allowing anybody to post, nearly anything and focused mostly on watch time. Despite this, the lack of fact-checking necessitates a thorough examination of a large amount of text. Flat earthers and other lesser-known troublemakers and hooligans swarm to the site, so it's critical to watch what you eat. Despite the raucous personalities, YouTube has been a haven for famous instructors such as Sal Khan and Hank Green, who have served millions with their explanations of complicated subjects. The need for education is increasing exponentially as the rate of advancement continues to rise. The strong and educated upper classes of medieval Europe struggled to comprehend mathematics. It is now customary for students to have completed two years of calculus prior to entering college. The first plane took to the skies barely over a century ago, and now college students are required to properly build small satellites as part of their capstone projects. Our lives have gotten more complicated and abstract in every dimension, but our educational system, for the most part, has not responded. We are accomplishing all of this despite, not because of, our antiquated method of learning. So, what is your opinion on what seems to be the future of education? Do you believe that soon, artificial intelligence will be the best option to learn new things or will human teachers always be needed? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. 
We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.